and gentlemen, Stanley Myron Hammond. That's all right. I don't really need it. I, I tell you, it really doesn't matter to me how well I do because I'm not going to be doing this for a living too much longer anyway. No, I wrote a couple of books, and that's what I always want to do is write. And I got a couple of books that I feel are going to really make a lot of money. One of them is a book of fairy tales for children. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of books like that around fairy tales, but they're all based on fantasy. And it's very harmful for the children because they don't know how to deal with reality when they grow up. So my stories are all based on reality. Like one of the stories about this princess. You know, she's in a garden, and she's watering the plants, you know, maybe picking a weed or something, you know. And all of a sudden, a little frog hops over, and he says, listen, if you kiss me, I'm going to turn into a prince. Because you know why? I was always a prince. But a wicked witch enchanted me, and she turned me into a frog. So she picks up the frog, and she kisses the frog, and then nothing happens. <laughs> And you know why? Because there's no such thing as wicked witches or enchanted princes. It's a plain talking frog. <laughs> that's nothing, that's just a light work. I, I wrote a much more serious thing, uh, sort of a philosophical work. Uh, it's called A Physical or Metaphysical Witch. See, it's like the title is a question, then you have to read the book to find out. And in the book, I explain that the true nature of reality isn't revealed to us through our senses, but rather through something much more deep, much more deeper than that, or more basic, our very soul. And then it goes on to tell you how to get girls. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, too, that years ago, I couldn't have written a book like this, because I had a lot of trouble getting girls myself. Well, you'd be surprised, you know, you can't turn around. <laughs> I was always ashamed to ask a girl out, because I figured if she turns me down, I'd feel very humiliated, you know? So I hit on a good idea. I asked the most unpopular girl in the whole school to go out with me, you know? And she jumped at the class, you know, nobody ever asked her to go out. So we went out together, and then I found out why she was so unpopular. She used to carry around in a handbag a little pen that shot out tear gas. <laughs> I said, why do you carry around a thing like that for? So she said, in case anybody tried to get fresh with her. I said, are you kidding? Who's going to get fresh with you? <laughs> the next thing I couldn't see. Everything. 